Hello everyone, Epioch here. It's been a while, I know, and I apologize for the brief hiatus. But, well, summer activities beckoned, and, uh, well, I'm looking at you, Disc Golf. I'm looking at you. Uh, so anyways, uh, we got extreme heat wave coming through here, and I said, why not stay inside and play some Minecraft and do ourselves some videos? Um, I was going to actually jump back into Kerbal Space Program, but, well... I was really getting aggravated spending like eight hours of editing a single 20, 30 minute video with uh, Movie Maker by Microsoft. So, um, and I'm too broke to buy a proper editing software. <laughs> so we're just going to go with this because I don't have to edit as much. So anyways, let's begin. We're going to be calling the series Hexit, the Chronicles of Numora. Numora, well, is the name of the world I named, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, dawn of a new series. Let's jump into first-person mode. Um, this is obviously, if you don't know anything about Hexit, it's a very much adventure-based version of mine, well, mod pack, uh, the Technic platform, unlike the others, which are focused more on building factories and spaceships and building stuff, basically. Uh, not to say that we won't be building, but we'll be definitely focusing more on, uh, well, dungeoning, dungeoneering. So it's much more, I think it was like D&D &D in Minecraft. So anyways, let's just get this thing rolling. Starting out like normal, we're going to get ourselves some wood. Get ourselves some wood. Um, let's grab a small tree. There is tree capacitor, so that makes life a little bit easier uh, as a mod in this game. I can waste less time getting wood and just a few swings of, a, of an axe. Grab this bits of wood here. There we go. Come on. All right. Just one more piece. All right. Actually, I probably didn't need another piece. Let's go. Let's get this going. All right. Create ourselves a crafting table. Just going to set it down here. We must have get ourselves rolling with some... Uh, we'll start with the pickaxe like normal. Nothing unusual there. All right. I will leave you there for a second. Let's finish up this tree here. Now, we're not going to be sitting in one place. Uh, eventually, I'll get myself a base. Probably in, in the first few videos, we'll find somewhere to base up. But it, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how things work out. This is definitely, like I said, we're going to be doing a lot more moving around. Um, I'm not going to be hiding a hole at night. At least I will in the first video here, uh, the first night or two. But after that, we're going to be doing patrols at night around whatever... Uh, wherever we're staying at that time because I intend to move around quite a bit to check out the different locations and stuff so um, let's uh, hurry and pull this in um, yeah let's just grab this real quick we're not gonna do anything right here at least not yet we'll wait to start really building more stuff and uh, get ourselves some stone uh, chop down one more tree we'll get at least uh, 20 30 logs here that should be enough actually I wonder how much I can take down. Nah, I don't think this thing. I don't want to leave a half-used log. Ooh. Maybe. Oh, cool. I got an emerald. Um, sure, why not? Pumpkin's always great. Ooh, a little thing here. All right. Ooh, redstone. Well, there's tons of it everywhere. Uh, also, if you don't know anything about Hexit, um, some of the, the minerals and other things that you find way down at the bedrock of, the, the, of Minecraft are now located everywhere. So you can find diamonds above ground, you can find them below ground, you can find them all over the place. So they're a little bit less rare. Um, let's grab one more tree here real quick. Um, no, let's just, why not? I don't care if it looks stupid or not. I'm not going to stain this damn jungle anyways. Alright, let's collect all of you. Come now, there we go. Alright, so that's a decent amount of wood that will get us going for a well a while. Ooh, chicken, you can come here too. Hello, belly. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. I need your meat and I need your. Uh, ooh, I'll kill you too. Why not? Come here. Come here. Stop running. All right, cool. So there's a little bit of food to get us by. Um, tr 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 what is that? Oh, it's just more cocoa. Um, I don't. I don't usually use cocoa, but whatever. We'll grab some and let's get some of these. Uh, we're still gonna want a bed, even though we're gonna be moving around, because obviously I don't want to be spawning in this godforsaken place any more than I have to. Alright, so there's that. Pink. Alright, you know what? Come on. Come here. Get out of there. Get out of there! Alright, cool. Get some of that. Got myself enough wool to make a bed. Come on. There we go. Alright, now, 
Let's get ourselves um, somewhere stone. Actually, see that hill over there? We'll get ourselves over that hill. And hope you won't run into an alligator on the way. Cause, or a crocodile, whatever it is. Cause I really don't want to die. And uh, I probably would if I ran into one right now. Actually, I don't even know if they attack. I just see them around. I don't usually risk it in the beginning. And then I don't see them ever again. Alright. Um, ooh, what's that? Oop, guys, solid green. We'll grab one of these. We'll eventually get in the chocobos. Um, once we get a base of operations going, we can we can actually put our uh, chocobos somewhere and start breeding them. Uh, so yeah, let's grab this mushroom so we can make mushroom soup. Mushroom soup and other things. And uh, we're gonna need to find cows too. Cows are important. Well, they're not as important because we got the I think it's rotten flesh to uh, leather mod. The reason being is we're going to want to be able to create backpacks because if we're going to be moving around and you're going to some of these dungeons and some of these castles and stuff or, well, whatever you're going into, there's usually a lot of stuff to pick up and, well, you're going to be filling up your bags pretty quick, well, your your normal inventory. So, uh, yeah, let's see, where should we go? Let's, let's go around the corner here and see what's up. If not, we're just going to dig in this dirt and call it good. Oh, there we go. There's a hole for me to jump into. Actually, I could have went into that other hole, but I really don't want to stay in the f this freaking jungle anyways. I'm not a big fan of being in a jungle in the beginning of the game because, well, there's too many places for baddies to hide. If you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, well, you probably haven't played Minecraft and wandered into a uh, forest race. Ooh, this looks like a good place just to set up temporary nightly base. I can get myself some iron. There's gold to pick up once I pray to proper pick the next morning. And we've got ourselves some coal. So, real quick, let's uh, drop this. Well, let's drop it right here. Uh, let's make ourselves... Oh, God, we're not even be able to... I might have to make another... Oh, can I get enough rock or is it going to break? Dang it, I used it all up. All right, that sucks. Really kind of sucks. All right, well, we're going to need more wood. I'm not used to making... Uh, wooden swords in the beginning and I would have to killed some of those creatures but eh, it was handy just having it there all right so let's hurry up and uh, collect some of this so we can collect create proper items all right it's enough for one more piece we're gonna need a sword so we got nine or eight and three so we just need two more pieces Two more pieces. Uh, eight of it, obviously, is for a furnace. All right. So let's, you know, let's just build the furnace now. While we can, build this. And grab that. And last but not least, a sword. All right. Let's grab this crap out of our inventory. Let's take a bite of an apple or two. Think about, all right, so let's grab some of these resources around us. Uh, the gold will have to wait till the morning because all I've got is a stone pickaxe. And I'm going to make, actually, I'm going to uh, show you guys a little bit of the Tinker's Construct uh, mod pack. This one opens up a whole slew of new, well, not necessarily, yeah, some new tools and weapons and whatnot. Um, but it's more about how you build them and how customizable are compared to the vanilla ones. And, well, you'll see. You'll see in short order. It'll be the first thing we do this night is uh, work with Tinker's Construct. So hopefully we'll get lucky and uh, be able to find some, I can't remember what they're called, they're little flowers that allow you to build the hexes, uh armors because I would like to get myself uh, some of the tribal armor because it gives you scouting bonuses like night vision and uh, I think it's jumping bonus. I'd have to double check on that one. Uh, is that gold? Yeah, it's gold. Um, let's grab this real quick. We're going to have to hurry. It's getting dark getting dark all right so let's grab this iron and then we're gonna dig a hole actually technically yeah let's just make this hole right here this will be our little home for now um grab the last we don't need to have anything big just something we can block off and have enough room to set up those tables for the tinker's construct all right uh i think that's big enough let's just do this actually let's grab this i don't feel like building another one if i don't have to just stupid considering it's like one of the least resources spent on any type of item. All right, block you off. Um, actually, let's make a torch here, and we'll do that. All right, place you here, and we'll put a one and two here. All right, so block this off for the night. Bamsis, Bamsis. All right, 
Um, let's just do that real quick. Set our furnace over here. Drop in. Let's see, we need food. Well, here we'll do this first. Let's drop in those, and then we only need. Well, we're probably only going to need five. Yeah, we probably only need five, but we'll do six just to get the iron out of the way. And then we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Actually. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to jump right from iron weapons with the Tinker's Construct right in the steel. Because it, all it takes is taking iron that's already cooked. You put it back into the furnace. You throw a wood. Pro I don't know. I know that jungle wood and oak saplings work and return it back to it. But I'm not sure if normal planks do it or not. I guess we could check. But meh. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Alright. So let's drop down the crafting table. Let's put that there. And let's start making our tables for our Tinker's Construct or weapons and stuff. Um, you know what? Let's make a few more. More the merrier, I guess. I'm going to... Yeah, that'll be good. All right. So let's uh, hurry up and do this. Oh, crap. I need sticks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 24 will work. All right. So let's grab that. That. Oops. Go over there, too. And split those in half. And we'll go... Um, we need five all right so these blank patterns are used to make up pretty much everything our starting point for making pretty much everything in this uh in this mod so we'll get ourselves for three tables we need three and then we're going to need think five yeah we're going to need five of these for the uh um the actual patterns that we create for well whatever the hell they're called the different parts which you shall see in a second we need another crafting table all right, put the blank pattern up here. Uh, we'll get a tool station. That's to put together all of our parts. Um, we need this. What is it? The part builder, I think. Oh, wait, no. Uh, nope, stencil table. That will actually make our patterns from a blank pattern into something else. And then uh, part builder, which is just that. Oh, any type of wood underneath it. It doesn't matter. All right, so we got that. Let's pull that down, and let's drop these SOBs. Okay, uh, come here. All right, so uh, let's drop... Uh, doesn't matter where you set them, how you set them. There's really no reason thing in it. All right, so we'll do a tensile part and this tool. Before we do that, let's jump into uh, getting that iron ingot. Well, I didn't do that one, but that's okay. So put the iron ingots back in, and we need actually. Let's see if we can do this with just that. Might have to throw in these jungle saplings and a piece of wood if anything. Um, you'll see here in a second. And bam, actually. Here, before we get too far, throw it in there. I'll show you what I'm uh, um, just on the part builder section. Uh, what the difference is between the iron and steel. There's not a huge difference until, well, you'll see. All right, so when you set it in here, you'll see that the durability of iron is 250. The modifier, which um, whatever the handle's made of, so you can make a weapon with iron, with steel, combine them all together, however you really want. Um, and, well, Let's just make it, and I'll show you, I guess. I guess it's the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to need to put... I eh, will put you in there, too. All right. So first things first, let's just go ahead and do the stencil table. Put the blank patterns in. Now, let's clear an open space here for all this junk. All right. And we'll start... Use these buttons on this stuff. We'll get... We'll start with a pickaxe and a broadsword. The broadsword, because it has defensive capabilities. So we need a pickaxe head pattern. Um, there is the sword blade pattern, so that's the actual blades, I guess you want to call. And then you have a guard. Um, the wide guard creates a is meant for the um the broadsword. And then we'll go over to tool binding, which is for well all the tools. I do believe. I think shovel and uh, axe are don't require it. Anyways, let's jump over to the last pattern we need. Uh, actually, we'll need to make another one eventually when we build a smelter, because this is part of the smelter is part of this mod. Uh, the tool rod. All right. So now we got all those patterns. Let's jump over to the part builder. Now, all you do is, well, here. Let's grab um, that. We're gonna need to. I guess we're gonna have to throw one in there, anyways. Um, let's go in the part builder. All right. So now let's uh, let's start with the. Let's start with both of the, the main heads. They each take one full ingot. 
So you'll get this, put stealing it wherever you want. Um, let's drop that somewhere. You can continue to reuse these patterns, so you can make them as long as you got resources put in there. Um, put the sword blade in there, and we'll use a hole ink on this. Drop that down. All right, now this is a little bit different. Um, the other parts only require halfening it. So for instance, the tool binding pattern will, when you stick one of these steel ingots in it, it will give you both a steel binding and a steel chunk, which all the chunk is, is it represents a half an ingot. So we'll take the binding and we'll take the chunk. We'll put that chunk back over there and we'll uh, use it on this wide, um, there we go, steel wide guard. All right. So there you go. The steel wide guard also is only requires half. Um, the tool rod pattern is the same thing. Put one in there. You'll get a steel rod be left over of the chunk. And we'll put that chunk that's left over just like that. All right. Now, you don't put these together in a crafting table. You put these together in a tool station. Now, um, you'll see here the normal setup when you open it has a repair and modification. Basically what that is is you stick your tool or weapon over on this side and you put things over here and it modifies it and it comes out over here. You can also click on this, name things wherever you want, and uh, yeah. So, uh, but anyways, we're not doing repair and mod just yet. Um, actually, it's part of the reason I like this mod so much. You can mod your weapons and tools from the beginning. You can, I'll be able to use this steel pickaxe even after diamond I've collected, so... Um, let's uh, click this, and that will set up the tool station for a pickaxe. So we drop that all in there, and we shall get a pickaxe. Now, um, what I was talking about before with steel and iron, it has a handle modifier of 1.3. What that does is it takes that 1.3 and the durability of whatever your pickaxe head or your sword head is, it multiplies that number by 1.3, so you get 30% more uh, um, durability. Uh, there's obviously, I think there's other ones out there have higher speeds, mining speed, for instance, if you see over here, ones have more attack. Uh, I know steel has a higher attack. Uh, it's one and a half per or something like that. I'd have to definitely look at it. Um, so I guess it just depends on what you're building. Uh, go to the broadsword. We'll stick in the blade, guard, and handle. All right, so we got the broadsword. Now, the cool thing about this is instead of, oh, I used it, it's gone. You'd normally with the old thing have to have an anvil and all that other stuff. Not anymore. All you got to do, like I said, put that in there. Um, and then you take a material and set it in this side and it'll repair it. Um, the, the thing is, uh, certain things use like, uh, and I think something completely made out of steel won't allow you to use iron to, uh, to actually repair it, possibly. Uh, I've tried on a few things that hasn't worked and some has. So anyways, let's put those in my equipment slots. Um, and call that good. All right, all right. Now, um, we're pretty much done in here. We didn't even need this other steel ingot, but hey, whatever. Um, got the pumpkins. What do we got? There's some. I want to get rid of some of this crap in my inventory. I'm just gonna dig a hole here and throw it in there, cause that's well what we do. Um, let's get rid of the seeds. We don't need the seeds and. You know what? Uh, we don't need the egg. And I, there's guy saw greens pretty much everywhere. Uh, I will keep the cocoa, and we will keep that. Uh, you dirt. And uh, the other egg. Get out of here. All right. Let's see if things are daylight yet. No, we're going to go out. We're just going to go kill some stuff because we can. Is it daylight? Not daylight enough, but that's okay. It's okay. It's almost there. Let's grab ourselves this gold. Hope something doesn't sneak up and blow me up. Suck. All right. Whew. Well, that was the first night. Ooh, an elephant. Is that an elephant? Uh, yeah, that's an elephant over there, I believe. Let's go over here and check things out. All right. Uh, one other thing. Let's go to my map. I think I'm safe right here. I'm going to make the assumption I'm safe. Uh, as you can see, this map's a little bit different than uh, old versions. It's the map maker, which means as I explore, it'll open up other areas. And I will be able to scroll back and forth and see completely different areas of the map and make points. And it's it's really nice. I, I, li I like this thing quite a bit. It's, it's pretty cool. So um, anyways, that was the first night of our adventure. Um, and I guess uh, the next time we come back in an episode, we'll, we'll, find, we'll actually start exploring outwards. Hopefully find a better place for us to stay. I want to get out of this jungle. I don't 
feel very comfortable in this jungle. And I'd like to be able to start exploring at night, well, fighting things at night, because I want to start getting some uh, leather, well, flesh from zombies so I can make leather. So, uh, anyways, um, it was nice, uh, nice to finally get back to video making, and I'll see you guys all in the next Let's Play of Hexic Chronicles of Numora. See you guys later.